All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. This time is a voiceover and a no gi rolling. You're gonna see a lot of cool things like the jump and sweep. You're gonna see some cool entries and finish from the north south, one of my favorite choke. So stay on, don't blink. That's a lot of action for you guys to learn no gi this time. So we start, I pull guard, Matt trying to do a knee cut. We end up in a half guard scenario right there. Try to catch his head, and he kind of like super tough. Matt is super tough. Uh, I love rolling for him. End up in a collar. I trap his wrist. He tried to get the trick is keep his wrist stiff arm. So now he trying to get a. Uh, I let him get you a, a cross face. I lock my figure four. The trick part here is always bait the person. Try to push the far knee stiff arm. The hours wanted to do this or bring the knee over to stop that. That's your timing, right? So I flip it over, come to the top. So let's see in a slow motion. So I have the sleeve, push the, the knee, and he when he bring the knee over my arm, I flip him and swap him to the other side. We end up, end up in the top position in the half guard, where I'm gonna try and manage to uh, engage, and then he turns to the other side. So he's a very cool detail also, keep holding the foot. Now pay attention how I'm gonna change my grip into his foot. Why I'm gonna change because I have a better push, okay? So pay attention, I change right there to a, a reverse grip. So now I'm gonna shoot right in. So let's see in a slow motion. So this is a really good way to beat half guard. I learned that from my professor Marcelo, he does that a lot. I frame the hip, keep my arm very very tight on his back and keep him sideways until I free my, my leg. As you guys can see, my elbow and I frame the hip. And slowly I'm gonna try to take my leg out and I did. So he came up, I went for the seat belt. He was in the fourth, right? And then he rose, I tried to chase his back and then he kind of like stay heavy and I missed my hook and then he went to the other side. I went chase the back and then he did a really good job defending the back. So he was fast than me. I backed the same position, blocking his hip, uh, uh, my elbow on his back. As you guys can see, like very similar positions before. But he was be able to come around for some reason and that was very impressive. I kept his seat on the back and I get to the third position and then right there. I entered the, the crucifix position, trying to invest in that. I want his forearm with my right hand, as you guys can see. I let go of that arm and then catch the uh, uh, Kimura trap. Kimura trap right there, super strong position. I do recommend you guys always do that. Kimura trap, it's a very, very good option. So look, I changed the Kimura trap when he rolled. I end up in a crucifix by accident here. Yeah, not accident, but by tiny space he took his arm out i went for the ombar right there so i do not recommend try to go for the ombar when his back is on the mat uh, off the mat right so i try to break his grip i should keep his back flat so if his shoulders off the mat as you guys can see right there he always gonna come up look how he sees his leg and come up and then from there it's gonna be super tough because very slippery no gi and when the person builds a a stronger base like this, forget about you're gonna miss it. So I did a mistake of going to the arm bar while his shoulders were, was off the mat. So now he's another detail right here. He went for the body lock. I stop controlling my hands under him and then I went for the butterfly sweep. So look, I kept his arm, my arm very tight. Doesn't matter if he had body lock tight or not. My hip are offside and they just elevate, elevate using his momentum to sweep him right there so guys please if you're enjoying this role enjoying this voice so please comment share with your friends uh, i really appreciate you guys for supporting me we continue here i went for the far sleeve i could go for a triangle right there good opportunity but i, I didn't so matt kept strong base right there so i, I almost get a, a, a shotgun armor and no gear right there we back up He's on his knees, I sit down, and I know he wants to go. I, I'm waiting for him to go for the body lock. So, look, he goes for the body lock, I trap his elbow, and then I kick his knee right there. I kick, 
and it's super hard for him to defend. I control the same side elbow and I kick the same side knee. Really, really strong position. I learned that from my professor Marcelo as well. It comes fast. You guys should study that. So we end up, I end up on top. He's flat. Now, this is a really good grip to reverse him. Get under the arm, grab the neck, and change right there. So now pay it close attention right here, guys. I went for his neck right there. I put weight on his uh, uh, stern, and then he lift the head. I wrap it up, keep his head stable. And from there, I just about to manage. Keep him block his legs, see where he's going. I'm not squeezed at this point. I just keep his head stable right there. Look, I let him fight, fight, fight. And then, look, I move around. I move to the other side because I didn't have him. So, and then I came back to readjust. I palm my arm in front so his arm was bothering me. So now I line up myself. As you guys can see, look, slow motion. I palm my leg, my palm my leg, palm my, my arm to get get rid of the arm that gives me a problem. Push his arm away. And then my feet are widened. Now I have the neck and connect my hands. Look, I change my grips. My second hand always comes on the look. I start with the first one and then I change for bottom. And then from there, I change my head position, my body in a perfect line of his body, and now just a matter of time. By the way, I'm gonna filming, I'm gonna do a voiceover my Nogi match that I did at Master World, uh, uh, Nogi Worlds. I'm, it's coming up for you guys. Uh, very, very good video for you guys to learn how to finish on the North South. And then I got a tap right there, and we're continuing. I'm gonna show him how to. I was telling him, give some tip, how to defend, how to avoid that. Seems like he, he understood. So I set guard right away. He goes, change. I got, I bait his guillotine and went for the leg. He's very strong, have no idea, guys. He doesn't look strong, but he's so strong. He's sturdy, very, very strong guy. So I kind of sweep him right there. It's one of my favorite ways, grab the ankle place my foot on his hip and then look how I'm gonna change my hip placing my weight on his hip I change right there and pull the ankle super super strong sweep if you guys like to do uh, see some breakdown of that sweep please comment I would love to show you guys this okay and then he goes for my foot I recommend always when he goes for the foot get a stiff leg a stiff toe foot and don't relax Guys, let's take a look at one of my instructionals at BG Fanatics. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you like to play lasso guard or if you want to build a good lasso guard, a good foundation, I recommend you the number one mastering the lasso. If you already play lasso but you don't know how to submit from lasso, I recommend the number two submissions from lasso. All the submissions, there's a ton of options from there. If you play last, but you're getting stuck, getting lost, I recommend you the lasso transition, the la lasso guard transition. This instruction is amazing. You use last to transition to same to any kind of position, anything else. If you decide, if you're losing the lasso, number four is the my enemy. How to pass the lasso? I show very carefully what I like to do from bottom and how to beat from bottom. So if you like to play last. If you like to pass last, you have a hard time, number four. Number five is the bundle. You can get all four in one. So I do recommend that if you like this game, this is for you, the bundle. Take advantage and buy it. So I have a number six. I have the all, submission, uh, all sweeps from close guard. Effective sweep, guys. Very, very strong from close guard. And also I separate all submission, number seven, all submissions from close guard is amazing you guys will love it if you have a hard time submit someone from close guard this is for you number eight if your position start if your train start on the knee this is for you double knee position everything starts from the knee all the connection that i learned from my professor marcel i put into that number eight number nine how to beat half guard i put a very nice and solid game plan for you guys to pass half guard the number nine is for you there's a lot of good details you guys will be surprised thank you all of you guys for giving me a feedback and all my instructionals and i really appreciate it. and the number 10 is how to build your own game sometimes we train you don't know which path to take it number 10 is going to help you guide 
show all the details for you guys to build a very solid and strong foundation, build your own game, okay? I have a lot more instructionals coming up for you guys and I can't wait. And also I'm gonna film a lot a lot more uh, no-gi instructionals to help you elevate your jiu-jitsu and bring to the next level, okay? I will now show you guys things that I learned overnight. These all things that I've been using through the years and I would love to share with you guys, okay? So check it out, go at bjfanatic.com and don't wait. I'm gonna put the link right on the script of this video and you should check it out, okay? So thank you so much for all the support and let's go back into the video, okay guys? So thank you so much, I really appreciate it, really, all right? Let's go back into the video. I start up right here and Matt is playing guard now and I'm gonna try Pass his guard, I'm on my knees right here, and then he trying to get a collar tie. He did an arm drag, and then I count on the arm drag. So look, he went for the arm drag. I use his own grip, I grab his arm, post my left hands on the mat, as you guys can see, and then I'm gonna use the momentum to slide around. Using his own grip, I catch his back and go around. But he was so smart, he follow up and he defend the back take. Usually I get the back. Luckily, I end up in mount. I count attack and end up in mount right there. I end up right here. I try to get a cross face. Taking my time and he bump, he turns out of the blue. He turns and he back into the guard. Looks like Matt was lost. He gonna see this, this video and he said, man, why I did that? But that's the reason. I want you, you all learn, plus my students to take a look on what he did wrong, what they should be doing. So this, what well, that's the benefits of these uh, videos in voiceover. This is gonna help you learn so quick, see the details. So I went to uh, uh, Chris Fix angle right there, slow motion, I step over, catch him with my right foot. And then from there I set back and I try to go over. So this is about, this video is about your hands. Uh, I hope you guys like it. So please comment, see if you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Big us.